It's stupid when you just think about it for like five seconds. It doesn't make any sense. None of it makes sense. No argument here. Why would anyone want to go through that kind of shit that early in life? It's like, what's the hurry? Nobody realizes they're gonna get there anyway. Sooner or later, you're gonna get laid. You are going to get a date. Yeah, well, what if you die? What, what? You know, you die, like aborted fetuses and, and school shootings. Oh. Kids cut down before their well, prime. Well, I guess there's some reason for it. I, I, mean, I mean, how do you fix that? You can't, there's nothing you can do about that. So that's it. What? You know, destiny. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everyone can figure out what they're gonna do with themselves. Even, even, you know, bums can be like, man, I'm eating garbage and I'm sleeping in the rain, but I'm gonna get up tomorrow and apply for a job at McDonald's or write a book or shit, man, do something. Yeah. When do we need to apply for a job these days? Some goddamn initiative. I mean, like, social security, right? Isn't that all you need? You never had a job? Nah, man, I cut lawns. Yeah, I hear you. I've been painting houses all summer. All I know how to do is cash checks. It's gotta tell you something about our generation, huh? It's cool. Everyone cuts lawns. Everyone paints houses. Our parents did it. Grandparents did it. Doesn't mean our generation sucks. It's not just that. It's... You know the bonfire of the vanities? No. Well, there's this whole movie about how much the 80s generation ruined the planet. Just a bunch of cold-hearted, coke-snorting yuppies. Brett Easton Ellis type shit. Yeah? So? Well, when our grandkids make a movie about our generation, What's it going to be like? How are, how are we going to be portrayed? The, they'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> you know, blame us like we're blaming our parents. Everybody blames everyone. It's McDonald's fault, the coffee burned me. It's TV's fault, my kids got Mar eaten. Marilyn Manson's fault. And video games. Man, it's all bullshit. Even bullshit's not safe anymore. They're telling us bullshit is responsible for the ozone turning into Swiss cheese. No responsibility, man. Exactly. It's our factories. It's our pollution. Our hairspray is doing it. If the cows are part of the problem, then slaughter them. Yeah, but then the animal rights groups get mad. Endless cycle, man. They cry out against the systematic eating of domesticated, far from endangered animals, but still drive their gas-guzzling Chevys to the picket rally. Forget how they do it anymore. Do they, do they shock them or they hit them on the head? Whatever or? they do, I'm sure it's better than slowly dying in a cloud of smog while your skin curdles from too much UV. But my oh my, what a tan you'll get in the meantime. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem, man. Priorities. It's an American thing, too. No one else in the world pulls this kind of crap. What kind of crap? Littering, drunk driving, locked doors, gun violence, people just going crazy. <laughs> when we fired up this country, we actually wrote the pursuit of happiness into the Bill of Rights. I mean, how cool was that to have pleasure written into our motto? You don't think we twisted a little too far? <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm just saying. I get you, yeah. It was nice of them to do that, you know? We, we shouldn't forget it. I'm sure something will remind us one day. <laughs> if the Prozac and Ritalin don't wipe our minds cleaner than whiteboards first. Tim's on Ritalin. I know! I remember when he started in seventh grade. Now he sells most of it. Weird how those kids need it more than he does. What's in Ritalin again? Um, methylphenidate hydrochloride. Learned about it in chem. Right. <laughs> right, the wonders of the central nervous system. A push here, a prod there, you got magic. 100 billion neurons in the brain, my friend. You lose 85,000 a day, 100 million a year. Kids today, they go through them like tater tots at a country fair. <laughs> Never really get to appreciate it, though. Yeah, they're busy. Well, that's my point. I mean, wouldn't you want to know how the plumbing works once in a while? You know, look under the hood. We can, we can take apart neurons now. Peek at the sodium channels, uh, 25 for every micron. We can see into space and, and use the decay of light and the half-life of stars to literally check out the beginning of the universe, man. We can kill God and, and resurrect him as a scientific truth. We can calculate that each of us have 10,000 trillion cells with enough DNA wound up inside of us to reach the moon and back three times. We can hang out in orbit and survive 449 hours without sleep and turn sex into an aerobic workout and talk to dead people and dissect our own planet and map the trajectory of the weather. We can shrug it and make the world tremble, man. We got it down cold. I know. Everyone knows. But it scares them. Didn't Gandhi say something about that? Or Mandela? Uh, man, I'm not thrilled about it either. I mean, I'm too worried we'll screw up, I guess. So what do we do? Who? Uh, us here, or us the people? We'll start with you and me, here. Um, we get up and go to class. And then we wake everyone up. 